Hey guys, it's me again. How are y'all? Uh, we have another business we would like to shed some light on. They are called, <laughs> you see behind me, right next door. But they are here today to let you know a little bit more info about their business and what they do and how they can assist you and help you guys. So we will have them come up. And I'll tell you a little brief and they can go into detail. So right next door is a franchise brokerage firm that educates, consults, and coaches an entrepreneur in owning and operating a franchise. We have, well, we as in us, but they, <laughs> they have over 400 plus national, regional, and emerging franchise brands and their portfolios serving 40 plus categories, including restaurants, retail, industrial, professional, and home services. So let's look forward to these guys explaining and going in detail of what they got going on. Woo! Hey guys, are you guys excited to be here? Yes! Yeah. 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 Yeah, give, you, give yourselves a hand. All the vendors, you guys are amazing. We thank you guys for being a part. This is an amazing expo. And um, this guy next to me, to my left, is something amazing. He's doing some amazing things. So I'm gonna pass the mic to him and let him, let him speak a little bit about it because it's a really vast situation, but it's very important. Um, first, I wanna speak to all my entrepreneurs real quick. I'm super proud of you guys. It takes a lot. It takes a lot to be an entrepreneur. It takes even more strength to be a black owned business. Um, to all of you black owned and brown owned uh, businesses out there, uh, no slight to no one else, but it takes a extra push to get us out there. We sometimes don't get the support, keep going. We sometimes don't see the whole visit, keep going. We sometimes get slighted, keep going. So a lot of times things like this occur in our business, but we show it right here at these expos and we push and we go hard and we get it done. So that's as we always say, the two most important days of um, owning or going through the franchising process is first the discovery day. That's when you actually get to visit the brands and, and introduce yourself to everybody in the C-suite and see if it's a right fit. And then the last day is the most important is that franchise agreement day, when you sign that franchise agreement and get the keys and ownership of starting that own business. What, I, what I've done today is I, I brought Mike here. He's the owner of a franchise, PJ's um, Cap New Orleans Cafe, so he'll share a little, a little bit about himself. Hey, how's everybody doing today? Hey. Um, thank you all for having me out. Uh, Mike Harris, uh, PJ's Coffee of New Orleans. We are a franchise based out of New Orleans that we brought to Maryland. Um, I do. I met Hallie, and it, it was one of those things that was reaffirming that you know we. One of the biggest things when dealing with franchises is you have to surround yourself with people who are helping you and aligning you to keep moving forward. So we've had our franchise. We've been working with our franchise directly, our corporate office. But it's also good to have someone who can help you walk you through the ropes because there there are things that exist outside of your own franchise that can help you. Uh, for instance, Hallie put me in touch with someone who does accounting that can help make sure the books and everything's are going well. So, you know, I do say it is very important to have someone who understands franchises and can work with you because while you may be in a franchise, they may be a great franchise. It's always good to have that partner on the outside that can look at things to show you, you know, where you can help, you know, augment what your franchise is giving you. Thank you, thank you. So, um, if you don't know or haven't figured it out yet, Ali is nothing short of amazing. This young man has told you a little smidget about how he can help you with your business. Um, make sure you plug in with him before you leave here today. Get his business card, get his information, exchange information. Make sure you do the same with other vendors as well. Make sure you guys get related, get familiar. Make sure you're familiar with other people that's in your community because we all need each other, right? All right, so um, without further ado, I want to ask you one more thing before, how long we got? Okay, cool, so we can go. So tell us about some of the harder things about being an entrepreneur. Like um, a lot of people are gonna come to you facing challenges. When they come to you, um, what is some of the advice that you can give them to keep them going forward? You have to make sure that you're focusing on all levels of the business. And it's hard when you're a small business because you are the ad exec, you are the accounting department, you are the purchasing, you are receiving, you're doing it all. So when, when times like that occur, we always say, it's, Reach, ask for help, reach out to, sometimes you have to outsource those things. Find someone like Hallie who has that arm that can outsource your, your uh, those things because you don't want one thing to fall 
for the sake of something else. You don't want to have, again, you don't want to make the best cakes and pies out there if you're not selling. Perfect, perfect, good advice. So another thing that I want to piggyback off of what you guys said, um, make sure that you market your business. So for those entrepreneurs that's new in the business, you're one and two and three years in, and you're struggling a little bit, you're a little bit between a brick and mortar and still kind of out the trunk or out your house or however you're doing it, which most of us kind of find ourselves in that place. How do you place yourself into a marketing scheme that will get you seen more when you're still trying to figure out how you can pay rent? or how you can um, you know, kind of you know, work your way. A lot of people say, I can't afford advertisement. How can they afford to, uh, you know, you got any ideas that they can do uh, that's cheap and affordable today to help them get their business seen in the presence? Um, one thing that Stan mentioned is that zero to 36 months, those are really critical parts, point in a business. And one thing we always share is that, what you heard us mention earlier, is basically discuss what are your personal interests what are some of your professional skills and capabilities that you've developed over time? And then let's assess what in your community you think the needs are. And so based on that, then we do a discovery process where you then share out what your interests are, whether it's a B2B or B2C, home service, or you want to retail. And then I will then research and identify brands that are interested. I'll present five to seven brands, do a discovery, and we'll iterate until we find a brand that's of interest. What I then like to do is prepare my clients, because as I mentioned earlier, you have the product development, you also have the customer development pipeline. Because the franchise, meaning the, the franchisors expect you to understand and know your community. And so you're bringing that brand to your community, so you need to be ver versed in what are those um, uh, things that they need. You know what I mean? So, so when you do meet with the franchisor, you can present the value added you have and why you are the best candidate for that franchise in your community. So it's a two-way communication. As a broker and consultant, that's my job. I will work with you in that entire process. Which is, it could be a, it could be a bit frightening for folks, but it's a process that is easy to educate. Work with your state, local, city, uh, government because they have opportunities as well, so that you can make sure that you're getting those resources and that you're being plugged in. Especially if you have a product that can be sold to the government, to the state government, city government, or something that they need. So network, get out there, and push your business. Before I hand to Stan, I want to let them know that um, Spiral City Hill Share a little bit more is one of the business advocates in our community. And so what we've been talking about for, for years, as you guys know, that they constantly, um, weekly highlight different businesses. So we probably next year you want to hear us do more in the community with more entrepreneurship, highlighting different businesses. So definitely let's communicate, let's share out to so get you on Spotlight and City. Up with Spotlight over the city is our talk show. Me and my wife have a, a talk show every Thursday, and we also a media company, so we cover a lot of events like such as what you guys are doing here today. And so, what I want to say is, if you are an entrepreneur here, which you are, um, if you're just an entrepreneur in spirit and headed that way, which you are, make sure you get in touch with us. My wife is out here. Make sure you hand me a business card because we spotlight three businesses for free every single Thursday because we love our black businesses. So we support you guys fully. We want to support you. You can come on. You can be a sponsor. You can do an ad on the show, whatever the case is. We have over 30,000 views um, every week. We're over 20 million views strong um, on YouTube, Facebook, the whole nine. So we're a really strong uh, platform in the community. We thank you guys for helping us to be that. And so um, I want to say, too, a lot of times the funding gets in your way of your dreams. A lot of times God will give you a dream and you'll say, I can't do it. It's too big. Well, you can only do it as big as God can give you the vision to see it. And so if you can see it, you can definitely be it. So I want you guys to understand that don't ever let the things get in your way that people like us sometimes use as roadblocks. Oh, I can't do it out of my garage. Google did it. Oh, I can't do it out of such and such. Such and such did it. Facebook, all of these people have big dreams and small venues. So make sure you don't ever discount yourself and think that your vision is too big for what you can do. Because you reach for God at that point, and he'll give you the resources. Because he says, if you have the vision, then he'll give you pro-vision. So you always think bigger than you, and that's how you provoke God to help you. Clear? So I want to make sure you guys understand that before I get off this mic. Because that's the most important thing I can tell you, is have a relationship with a higher power so that you can invoke something to help you in your uh, journey. Because you will reach roadblocks, setbacks, all kind of problems. And I don't want you that that set you back. We all winners, right? Yeah. I said we all the winners, right? Yeah. Better know that. So on behalf of Black Excellence, on behalf of these gentlemen on the stage and everybody right next door in the Hope. What's your name? What's your, what's your, uh, PJ's Coffee. PJ's Coffee. All the way from? Yeah, all, 
it's a New Orleans based coffee company. We have a location in uh, Fairwood Parkway, right by the Safeway and Gold's Gym. Come check us out. If you're thinking New Orleans and coffee and you're wondering if we have beignets, the yeah. answer is yes. Uh, we do have beignets, and actually, I saw a few people in here that I see in the shop. They can tell you the beignets are, are uh, we say better than Cafe Dumont. <laughs> see? <laughs> She say they the bomb. So wait, I didn't know nobody had beignets up here, so you my new best friend. So at the end of the day, you guys, you see this is what networking can do. So I want you to get with Holly. How can they get with you if they if they haven't already? How can they get with you and follow you guys and make sure they stay locked in? Definitely. I'm at rightnextdoor.biz and at rightnextdoor.biz on all your, all your um, digital channels. Definitely reach out. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram. It's at PJ's Coffee Buoy. On Facebook, PJ's Coffee Buoy .com, or Facebook.com backslash PJ's Coffee Buoy. We do put up our, our announcements so when we're having stuff. I will let you know it's, it's a little secret that between us, we will start having, um, you know, live music there. We had Marcus Johnson there last week. We'll have a few more live events so that we have an atmosphere where people are enjoying themselves, having a good time. Hey, so we're going to get you on Spotlight over the city so we can let everybody in the city know about that. So we're going to definitely pull up and uh, put the cameras on you too as well. So um, again, once again, I'm staying Long. Wifey Terry Long is out there in the building. Um, we are Spotlight over the city. Each and every Thursday, follow us at Spotlight over the city on Facebook, Instagram, wherever the social media platforms, Spotlight over the city is in the building. So make sure you follow us. And if you don't get to see it live, Go to our uh, YouTube channel. Every Thursday, we're there. We, we make sure we lay it live. So check us out. We have a very, very entertaining show, but very educational as well. So check us out. God has blessed us with a great platform, the number one in the DMV. So thank you guys for making this so. Enjoy the rest of your evening. You guys have any Q&A questions? You, want, you wanted to ask any questions? I can kind of get out my seat and hand the mic around and get out of here. You're kicking us out of here. Okay, she's throwing up gang signs, so that means we got to go. Um, <laughs> So, okay, we got to wrap it up, you guys. Thank you guys for letting us have your time. Enjoy the rest of the expo and be blessed.